today I'm going to show you how to rig this robot. Rigging is one of the underdeveloped skills when it comes to 3D. It's the process of bringing your character to life. Once you reach that skill, you realize that rigging is not that complicated. I'm going to give you an overview of the process. First, we're going to see how the mechanics of this model works. This will make you understand the underlying process and not just how to use a rig. We're also going to be looking at the bones, the constraints and the controllers, how they work together for the preparation. You can imagine this model like an octagon. Each flap is one leg. For this video, I will rig one of the legs and I'm then going to copy it to the others. We're going to start off by a well-organized model. Make sure the model is done and clean. Here you can see it has good topology, so the rigging process will be easy. You can download this model from the link below. We are going to start off by creating an armature. This bone will be our root bone. We're going to press Shift D to duplicate it. Make sure that if you put this place on front, now we're going to align that root bone on that angle here. We're going to do that by selecting our mesh, pressing Shift S, cursor to select it, go back into, into edit mode, select our root, Shift S, selection to cursor, and we're going to repeat this by the other hand here. Cursor to select it, go back into edit mode, select the top, selection to cursor. Now you're going to use that, extrude it down, do the same here, cursor to select it, selection to cursor. And now once again, this one can just go up to the point where it should be pointing at. This point is going to be exactly here, cursor to select it, and now selection to cursor. If you don't like this view, you can also change it to sticks, which I prefer now. Also make sure to connect this bone to the root bone by shift clicking them and then control P, keep offset. What we're going to do now is create a small extruded bone up in the Z axis by pressing Z. This one will be our controller bone. So we're going to control our rig through that. So make sure to also disconnect that bone and also clear the parent. And as you can see, now it is loose. Now this bone needs an IK constraint, inverse kinematics. It needs to have a target, which is going to be our object rig. And then needs a control bone. This is going to be our bone. The pole target you can leave empty for now, and the chain length should be by three. And now if you choose your control bone and you move it, you can see that the bones are all aligning with it. And you can move them around Play with them however you want. The chain is working and this also in many directions as you can see. Now if you want you can also create a bone group, give it a color set like red, name it control bones and assign your control bone. Now what we want to do is attach our mesh to the bones. If it would be an organic shape you can weight paint it but for now this is a simple mechanical shape so you can just, just select your mesh, shift click the rig, go into pose mode, select the bone you want, and control P. Now you can set it to the parent. I will always select the bone. This is just parenting it easy to the bone. And I will do the same thing for the other ones. So this will also belong to the big one. This part belongs to this bone. Now these parts belong to this bone. And now this part will be parented to the root bone. Now, as you can see, if you move your control bone, all of these bones will align and they will move perfectly how they should. So now that we're done with the main rig and each parts work good individually, now we have to make it a sphere. As you can see, it's just a small part of a sphere. We need to make it a big one. Go individually in edit mode and duplicate it and rotate it around in 45 degrees. So we get that one and then rotate it in another 45 degrees, duplicate it again, rotate it in 45 degrees, and so on. So we have a whole circle. The same goes with the mesh. If you would only select the mesh, rotate it, make it 45 degrees, rotate it, make it 45 degrees, rotate it, make it 45 degrees. Now we already have a half of a sphere. And this process, we can just repeat and repeat and repeat until we have a whole sphere like that. Just don't forget to attach each one individually. 
So once you've done that, your model should look something like this. A clean sphere. Now you also have the ability to play around a little bit with the bone controllers. And as you can see, your rig is ready. With the root bone, you can control the center and all of the other ones just align with it. I hope you could learn something from this video. Let me know if there are any questions and see you.